Oh, this cow. I'm not supposed to have feelings, Connor. Nah, 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 Connor. You're doing terribly, Connor. You're ugly, Connor. Connor, 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 Connor. <sighs> I don't like her. I don't like her. Bitch. <laughs> what do you want, woman? You kind of know you're in trouble. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Did Kemsky design this place? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? In oh doubt or conflict? You. Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I'm beginning to have thoughts that are not part of my program. Maybe... Maybe I've been compromised too. I don't the really case, care. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. Yeah, you do. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. <clears throat> I don't know why I did it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. 
I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. They do, kid. Maybe it's they better really if you do. don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor. But I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> We're just that easy. Works. No. Okay. He just gave her. Stop it. Connor, I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? We don't need any plastic pricks around. The hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. I don't give a Like, Eccentric police lieutenant shoes. <laughs> of course he would. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Where? Not much time. The deviant who took a child hostage.
one of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Seven three five three five five W. Okay, great. Disconnect me. I'd rather be dead than live without her. Recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. 
You'll be all right. I came to take you home. Just give me the location of Jericho. We've got to leave now. Jericho. Y yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me again, Marcus! Don't leave! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now? It's gonna be definitive. Can I kill you, motherfucker? What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm! Now! This game is fucking amazing, man. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Talk to you? No. That is a very large man. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. This is like uh, just shooting him in the street like that. So this is Jim Crow slash Holocaust for androids. That's so screwed up. Because that is literally what that scene just reminded me of: shooting people in the street simply because they are different than you are. scared shitless. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. 
The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. You better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. And where is this bus they're getting? They're all gonna head to Jericho. That's pretty cool. Okay, wrong way. Gotcha! Warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. They're conducting raids across the city. Cut them down. Androids will rule the square. And then when the police arrive, and they open fire. Well, they're only machines, but they, they look like just people. With people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids. American forces. Oh, this is a warm place. Oh, where are they? Where are they? All right. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. You need to listen to him. Get shot, so where's the creepy chick? Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered they all wouldn't. androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just gun them down. It was sheer carnage. Your androids moved where? The police arrived and well, they opened fire. He needs to move. Oh, they, they look 
Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces all... You're lost. You're looking for something. She is so creepy. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. She Why does you not hate her? you. She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. And not all humans not all humans hate Carl did not hate you at all. Carl cared about you and you know it. You're wrong in that one. Alice. What are you doing? Isn't she? Wait, I'm now seriously confused. Kara, is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Ever. 
isn't she? Oh, so now that whole that whole little group there's a fam fam. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Uh, you keep complaining. What have you done exactly, that. Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. We shouldn't become like them, Nora. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that I'm glad that I met you. Bye. Like seriously, bye. She kiss oh my god, blessed nerves. <laughs> uh -oh. Be good, Connor. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen, sweet pea. What? I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! 
You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. It's time to decide. Sorry, sweet one. You all deserve rights. She'll be all right, bitch. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Cat? Quick, we've got to get out of here. Come on, I, I, you know, I need you to be on top of this, okay? This is important. Thank you. Come in, quick! Okay, once, one more game. Where are you? <laughs> uh, okay, I, I, I'm waiting on you, Watch homie. Out! Okay, fine. Well, I'll, I'll deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long.
mess. So. Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. <sighs> that sucks. All because stupid fucking people don't know how to learn about something before they fear it. Oops. Don't let it get out. Don't give you any trouble at all. Affirmative. Welcome. It's too late, Captain. Save yourself. Save Alice. No, we're not going to leave you behind. Right, Carl? We can't leave him. Yeah, no. We ain't leaving Daddy. Uh... What are you doing? I won't leave you! Tara, no! Shut up. Don't move! You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Shut up. Alice in danger. Shut up. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now, take care of each other. Get asses in. <laughs> yeah, take that ass out. Man, this game makes you hate humans. <laughs> uh. I'll join you later. Where? We're safe, Alice. Oh, go, 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 Run, run quickly. Good job! 
good. Those motherfuckers should be shot just to say, you know, to say, whew, man, I got focus when I'm playing this. <laughs> Marcus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. see Kara as you should because he did not hate you he cared about you I'm lost Carl I just wanted us to live in peace but everything I touch just turns to dust All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? What should I do, Carl? Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> 